Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org with a video tutorial for the new Boston. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the last and first parts of traversing in jQuery. Now, obviously, when we talk about traversing, we talk about running over particular uh, elements. However, this is part of a filter uh, where we can select the first and last. Now, much like we would do in, for example, uh, selectors. Now, I'm going to go ahead and create an unordered list. Uh, with four names in and we'll go ahead and see the options that we have uh, and how useful this can be. So let's go ahead and create an unordered list and inside we'll create four uh, li elements. So li, li and once more. And inside here let's go ahead and just put some values in. So Alex, Billy, Dale and Ashley. Okay, so let's go ahead and preview this now browser. You can see we've just got a basic unordered list, blah, 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 uh, nothing really special. Let's go ahead and give this an ID of names. Actually, we'll give it a class of names, more appropriate. Uh, so nothing's changed. We just now have a reference point for this unordered list and the it belongs to the class names. So inside of ext.js, we have our document uh, ready. Let me just go ahead and type this out again for those of you that uh, don't quite understand. Uh, we're selecting our document, we're appending the ready event handler onto the end, and inside we're creating a function. So once our DOM has been loaded, and you know we can just go ahead and work. Now this isn't a, a requirement, but um, good practice to get into. So the first thing we want to do is I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate the selector, and then we're going to be taking a look at the the um, uh, the actual function type call of it. So let's go ahead and select um, UL, or no, sorry, names, so names, and then LI, and then first. Now this would be a, this would allow us to sort of append on, let's say, first. So we are selecting uh, the class names, which is here. Uh, then we're selecting LI and the first LI. So we're using a colon and first to append on first. So let's refresh. And you can see that we've just popped uh, first onto the start of there. Now we could go ahead and let's say we'll copy this or we'll just retype it out. So again, we're saying dot names li, but well, this time we're saying last, and we're going to append on. We're going to append on the same, pretty much the same thing, but just last. And when we refresh now, you can see that that's been added onto the last. Now we have an alternative way of doing this. And there are reasons for this, and we're going to be using the find uh, feature or function as well as um, this first and last. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate how we would do that as well. So let's just say, um, let's just go back to the start. We want to find out the first li inside of this uh, unordered list. So let's go ahead and select first of all dot names, which is our class. This time I'm going to use find and we're going to be using that in conjunction with first and last and we want to uh, choose what we want to find so li for example. Now what we can go ahead and do is say dot um, uh, first and uh, now we can go ahead and append on some text so we can go ahead and append first. And it's literally done the same job. Now, one of the reasons I tend to do, uh, you know, use this method is so I can actually um, use things like next as well. I mean, I know you can do this using normal selectors, but find is a useful thing to use and get into the habit of using. So you select the, oh, you know, so the overall parent element, and then you go ahead and find the li and the first part of that, and then append on first so we're doing the same thing uh, so let's just run over it again I mean by all means you can go over to the jQuery documentation and it has um, you know some more information on find and first and last and things like that uh, but for now I'm going to go ahead and find uh, the li last and I'm going to append on you know the same thing as I did before which is just last and when we refresh we have this uh, so what I can also do is for example I could go on and say uh, now I'm doing it sort of a long-winded way but you know never mind so I could say names dot find and then I could say li and then I could say dot first but then dot next 
and then dot append. So I can sort of use so uh, second. Well, I'll just say after first, for example, or second. It could be second makes sense. And when we refresh, we have this second here. So what I've done is I've combined find. I'm looking for the li first. So the first element I'm picking out. And then I'm going for the second element after the first element, which is the second element. So, you know, or the element after the uh, first element. And that is second. So I'm sort of combining things like this to pick out different values. Now, there's a variety of reasons you might want to do this in, uh, in jQuery. And that might be, for example, selecting a, a, either a predefined or we might want to go ahead and add a class onto the first and the last element or just onto the first element. For example, you might be menu building and you might want the first um, element in a, um, in a list to be uh, bold, for example. So we'll go ahead and just uh, do that now just to demonstrate it. Uh, let's just call this class here menu instead. And I'm going to call the first, well, I'm going to say the, the first element is uh, I don't know say user and the first is going to be settings and this one is going to be log out and this one is going to be delete account so we've essentially now just got a, a you know an, an unordered list of menu items I'm just going to go ahead and open up uh, style.css and inside here I'm going to style this ul uh, so I'm going to say dot menu Ooh. And I'm going to say list style none, and this will just get rid of them uh, bullet points. And I'm then going to go ahead and set the margin to zero, and that will get rid of the spacing there. And then I'm going to go ahead and set padding to zero as well, and that will go ahead and get rid of that. So we've sort of got an, a, a UL of menu items. Now, now what we could go ahead and do is we could use next all, and this takes into account everything after. Um, after the fur or the element that's been selected. 